Why haven't we brought our pets with us? Yeah, we love them. And they're our children. Yes. <laughs> and we miss them every single day when we're gone. I I never stop talking about Morty. So why didn't we take them with us when we went cruising? We took them with us all the way down the Chesapeake Bay, as far as we could. And then as soon as we got out of bay waters and into the ocean, it became very evident that it wasn't going to work to bring our beloved pets with us. So Morty, he now lives with my parents when we're away. and Samuel lives with my parents. Which is right here. <laughs> so there's a number of reasons why it's very inconvenient to bring a dog and a bird mostly a dog, <laughs> yeah. on a cruising trip. And you do see it. You see people bringing animals. We saw a couple bring some chickens across yep. the ocean. We've seen lots yeah, of little cats. cruising dogs and, and many cats. Yeah. Uh, MJ Sailing has a cat. Here are the problems. First one is quarantine laws. Yeah, so each country is different. Some countries are insanely strict. Like, they just don't want you to bring your pets, so they make it this nightmare to get in. Uh, now, it, it depends on each country, and it depends on the vet that you have before you head to that country. Like, for example, in the Bahamas, you have to have a paper signed by the vet saying the, the dog is healthy 48 hour, no older than 48 hours old when you get there. Which means that if you take 49 hours, you have to turn around and go get a new vet paper. So ridiculous. there are some ways around that. Yeah, One is that you find a vet who doesn't date it. Doesn't date it, and so you just write in the date when you get there. So in some countries, they even require you to keep your dog in quarantine for up to 40 days, which means that he can't leave the boat, which means that he can't poop. He can't go to shore. <laughs> so that, that's that's the second phase of this whole thing. Is yeah. It depends on the dog. Like, there's some dogs that are lazy, never go on walks, like, never want to go on a walk, and happily poop on AstroTurf. <laughs> they're great boat dogs, because they're, they're happy on the boat, and they got their bathroom. But for other dogs, it's simply not fair to restrict them for, especially since we don't have a motor, and it takes us a long time to get everywhere, to restrict them to such a small area for such a long period of time. Yeah, we, we tried, like the idea in the bay was like a, a trial with Morty, like could we get him to go on the deck, and that, he didn't, he would hold it, the longest he went was 36 hours, and then he just popped, and then pee everywhere. <laughs> it's, and it felt, yeah. it was so bad, we felt really bad for him. Um, and, and you know, he didn't get his exercise, and he needs his exercise, because he's a tubby little piggy. So, got no legs. Yeah. So, you know, it just, it wasn't fair to drag him across an ocean. And we even thought about flying him out once we got there. However, yeah, that gets, getting a pet passport is a thing. Yeah, so your pet gets a passport of their own, and then they get all their vet papers, and it, it's a thing, and then they can travel through the EU and through a lot of other countries as well, because now your pet has a passport. It really depends on how you plan on cruising as well. Like, do you plan on coming back and forth and like visiting and flying back and forth with family and friends? Or are you just, you're gone and you're gone forever until you finally drift back into your home port. Right. So if you're going forever, yes, take your pets. Like it's a hassle, but it's take worth them. it. Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna be flying, every time you wanna fly, you have to then check with the airline because the tarmac temperatures have to be a certain range. They can't be too cold, can't be too hot. There's a whole lot of red tape to fly with a pet so if you're gonna be flying a lot it, that's a hassle like a lot of times we'll pull into a port and then we just wait and when the flights are cheap we just pick one up and head somewhere once we get into the Mediterranean we plan on like taking a train inland you know and seeing Paris or, you know places that you can't, we won't be going to with the boat and so we're gonna fly there or train there and with a pet that would be next to impossible. Just, yeah, then you have to find someone that's going to take care of Then you have to find a hostel yeah. or, that will take him or, or allow leave him. Or with a good friend. Yeah, yeah, it's just... It's an added It's so struggle. much stress that would have been added. And, you know, we suffer for it every day because yeah, we boy. miss him so much. It's ridiculous. We miss him so much. Now, yeah. the other thing is Sammy. Yeah, so Sammy doesn't have any of these walking issues or 
right? She's happy on my shoulder, and that's it. She's potty trained, so she goes in the trash can. So why not her? We eventually plan on hitting the Caribbean and all those islands. And I grew up in Puerto Rico, and the custom agents in Puerto Rico are nowhere near as notoriously corrupt as in other places in the Caribbean. And in Puerto Rico, they were really corrupt. Like, <laughs> I remember when my, when my dad would come back from the VI, they'd check in, and the custom agent would flat out tell them, I'm not clearing your boat into Puerto Rico until you give me one of your fishing rods. <laughs> so they had, like, sacrificial fishing rods that they'd put up and they'd hide their good ones because they knew the custom agent was going to do that, and then they would. So Sammy's awesome, and I just worried that we'd be somewhere and they're like, hey, that bird's awesome. My kid wants that bird, so hand him over. So yeah. we, we just worried about Sammy getting confiscated. And then the other part, so when Sammy was a chick, I never put that little ring on her foot to prove that she wasn't a wild-caught bird. So she isn't a wild-caught bird, and she's from a breeder from Pennsylvania, so she's <laughs> as not from the Amazon as possible. But, but we have no I have way no of proof. proving it. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, the last thing about Sammy is, on long passages, Sammy obviously is very attached to Herbie, and if Herbie is around... She wants and, to be on me or in my shirt. And if she's in her cage and she sees him, she doesn't shut up. It's his ear-piercing <laughs> shrill. Yeah. Is now, we, he can't have her on her when he's out at the helm or on watch, um, because many reasons um, yeah. <laughs> that are probably really obvious, but... We don't want her getting spooked and fluttering into the water because we'd have no way yeah, of... Yeah, that, that'd be done. Yeah, she'd be done. And, you know, there are various birds of prey, if you're close to land, uh, that could swoop down and literally Eat take her. her off of Herbie's shoulder. Like, yeah. it's a problem. And if we have rough weather and her cage is being, like, you know, banged around... It yeah, could, she's delicate. She's delicate. She could get injured. And so it's just this whole number of reasons that it would be really bad to take her with us um which is also really sad yes yeah, she's so adorable she <laughs> and this relationship is like very special so it's almost as good as mine and her mine and morty's <laughs> <laughs> yeah mine and her <laughs> so anyway um we we keep getting asked you know why don't you have your pets? Because we talk about them constantly. Because we think about them constantly. Right, and this is why. Um, it's really hard to leave them, but it's also yeah, an added you... benefit to every now and then when we have to fly back home to see family or to work, um, we get to see our, our babies and spend a lot of time with them. Woody, get back up here. Give me... Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Your stubby little legs couldn't make it. Oh, let me help you. Are you my boy? Are you my boy? Yes, you are. I love you. Yeah, so, in short, we wish we had him with us, but we didn't do it because, one, it's really hard, and two, we didn't want to risk anything happening to them. It's a lot of money, too, if something does happen to them and we'd have to take them to get medical attention like we don't know we wouldn't know where to go who to talk to and it, you know it's just a good boy. Good it's just a whole other layer of challenges and things to worry about <sighs> but it's really hard really hard to leave them. Mm. We got no legs. This is how he... It, like, yeah, this is, we call this the broken Morty. This is how he lies. This is how he do. He's fine. Yes. Mm. Yes, hello. Yeah. So the plan is, after all of our adventures and everything, um, when we're as soon as we hit um, Florida, Florida, in the U.S., bring them up. On our way back, we're going to rent a car, drive up to Baltimore, pick up our little guys, and bring them down to the boat, and they'll do the rest of the yeah. We'll do the East Coast with us because yeah. mm -hmm. that's hopping and short yeah. trips. And Morty's a good boat dog. 
Yeah, he grew up on the boat. Like yeah. he, when he was a puppy, he lived on the boat. When he was a puppy, and well, when, when he, he was, was a puppy, all the way, yeah, <laughs> all up the way until up recently, until we left, he yeah. lived on the boat. So he had like five years on the boat. <laughs> it was his ho- home. He didn't know anything different. Yeah. When he went to my parents' house, it was the first time he had had stairs. Yep, <laughs> that was interesting. Stubby little legs. If you haven't on seen stairs. corgis on stairs. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Come on. All right. Well, hopefully that answered um, some of your questions about pets and cruising. If you guys cruise with pets, please let us know and you know include Tell us, us about your stories. Include as stuff. much information as you want because we yes. love hearing about other people's pets and stuff. Um, and if you have any other questions, do let us know in the comments, and we will answer them. <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the relationship? He likes her. She's always trying to hunt him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, she's a girl. And he's a little afraid of her. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.